think less and less, live more. See, it's, everything is a paradox. You have to think rightly and you have to think in less quantity. Whatever quality should be very high of thinking, whatever you think, but the quantity should be less. It's like eating. The quantity should be less in eating, but the quality should be high. Like speaking, the quantity should be less, but the quality should be high. So there are two things, quantity and quality. Quality should always be high. The quantity should always be less. You know, in, in Patanjali's Niyamas, there are five Niyamas. Shaucha, Santosha, Tapaha, Swadhyaya, Ishwar Pranidhana. Tapa means less quantity. Sleep, less quantity. Eat, less quantity. You know, think, less quantity. So this Tapa is reducing the quantity of everything and increase the quality. When you reduce the quantity, you automatically increase the quality. When you, when you want more quantity, there's less quality will be there. When you keep on talking, talking, blah, 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 because you are an expert in talking, the whole quality of the, your talk will go down. If you want to eat everything, 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 then you will spoil your body. If you want to keep on thinking, thinking of the quantum, infinite possibilities, then you are debilitated. So, quantity and quality are inversely proportional. The quantity is more, the quality will be less. The quantity which is less, the quality will be more automatically. It's a great principle. This principle is tapaha in the niyamas of Patanjali. Reducing your quantities of sleep, of talking, of thinking, of eating, of earning your money. Why people have got money? They will keep on wanting money, 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 money. So they have landed all kinds of problems. Because they want more money. So their quality of life is endangered. When you want so much money, why do you want to become a Birla Tata? You will land the problem, somebody will come and murder and loot all your money. Because you have money, they don't have money, they will murder you and take the money. The, so the result of your quantity of money is only that you get murdered, which you don't want to manifest. Then reduce your money appetite. So today, the concept is tapaha, means reduce the quantity so that the quality gets increased. This is a grand principle from Patanjali, the niyama of tapaha. Every word in Patanjali has been chosen very, like a gem, like a Kohinoor gem. He is such a great grand master of choosing words and choosing concepts. Very limited, uh, only 200 sutras in Patanjali, but every sutra is a gem. He did not give a big treatise, he gave just 200 sutras, that's all. Patanjali Yoga Sutras. Very less words. And everything is given in that. Less quantity. That's why we said thinking is also less. Then the quality of the thoughts will be more. Speak less, then the quality of your speech will be more, higher. Eat less, then eat this, eating this is only for adults, not for children. So whenever I say something, that should be applied to the proper situation. When I told that Nepali fellow, you are speaking more, that was only relevant for that Nepali fellow, not for others. And Karuna madam or somebody else, wanted to do that and she landed into problems. 
So the principle is different, the application is different. Application is always specific. When I say something to somebody, it is always specific to that person. You must differentiate between the general rules and the specific situations. That calls for uncommon amounts of wisdom. What is sauce for goose it cannot be sauce for gander. Meditation means less thinking. We are overthinking without meditation. Meditation means bring down your thoughts. That is tapaha. Tapaha is nothing but meditation, Baba. We are unnecessarily thinking so many things, quantum possibilities. And getting struck. So reduce your thinking, reduce your thoughts. And that is what is meditation. Practice a meditation. You reduce, you don't have to think always. Non-meditators are always thinking, 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 all random thinking, stupid thinking, unwanted thinking. In meditation, you bring down the thinking to bare minimum. Meditation is tapaha. Think less and live more. That thinking less is nothing but doing more meditation. 